the unseen risk at the hospital, a deadly new class of superbugs. There are many strains of drug-resistant E. coli now, and they are spreading throughout the community uh, at alarming rates. So we're sounding the alarm today about a new bacteria that has doctors and hospitals on the edge. Some are calling it the rising plague. Resistant gram-negatives, a deadly bacteria, and doctors have no defense. There are increasing cases of infections caused by bacteria that are resistant to every FDA-approved antibiotic. And we literally have no treatment for those bacteria. Experts now estimate antibiotic-resistant gram-negative bacteria are responsible for tens of thousands of deaths every year. Dr. Spellberg, you say you've watched patients die because you have no tools left to fight their infections. How concerned are you? Yeah, well, what we're starting to see is bacteria that uh, we have one or two last-ditched antibiotics that we're not real happy about how well they work. Mm. And in some cases, we're seeing infections that literally are resistant to everything, that we have nothing to throw at. We try to kill bacteria with antibiotics. The bacteria don't want to be killed. It's that simple. Zymec Technologies is a revolutionary biotech company. We have created the most revolutionary decontamination technology on the face of the earth. It will save literally thousands of lives and reduce infection rates, not only in hospitals, but in every situation, in every environment, whether it's an enclosed room or a vehicle. The fourth greatest cause of death in the United States is dying from literally entering into healthcare facilities and being mistreated because the healthcare facilities don't adequately decontaminate the surfaces of the rooms that the patients enter. More people die of infectious diseases in the United States than die from AIDS, breast cancer, and automobile accidents combined. One of the biggest problems we have in infectious diseases and infection control is that when patients are discharged from a hospital room, the way we clean that hospital room is not very optimal. We have relatively low paid, inexperienced housekeeping staff come into the room and spend very little time because they're under great time pressure to turn the room over for the next patient. They spend very little time actually cleaning or disinfecting the room. There's a thing that we refer to as disinfection deception, where you utilize a spray bottle to apply a disinfectant. And ultimately, when you apply a disinfectant in this matter, it's literally spraying and praying. Because if it's removed this quickly, you probably wouldn't kill more than 5% of the contaminants on that surface. Zymex technology can rapidly decontaminate the entire room in one blast, far more effectively than can one person with one spray bottle who spends three seconds swiping various surfaces in the room. Cleaning is not disinfecting. Cleaning is just agitating dirt and removing some type of dirt or biohazard or bioburden from an area. Disinfecting requires the application of an EPA-registered disinfectant on a surface for usually five to 10 minutes in order to achieve a 99% kill rate of the pathogens that may be found there. Zymec invented a micro-mist application that literally takes an EPA-registered disinfectant and reduces it to a very small disinfectant micro-bullet that's capable of transmigrating automatically in any enclosed environment. And in doing so, we affect decontamination on a three-dimensional automatic basis. So the power of Zymex technology is that it sprays the entire room in a mist of disinfectant. It has that 10-minute contact period to kill the bacteria. It's three-dimensional sterilization. It gets to every surface in the room that's air exposed, and there's no way a housekeeping person could possibly clean as effectively as that device. Because our systems can use a wide array of disinfectants, we can kill literally every type of bacteria known to man. In the fire department, we deal with a lot of things that we know, and then unfortunately, some of the things we don't know. We don't always know that a patient may have something. So uh, when the Zymec technology came out with their dry mist system, we knew that that was something we really wanted to look at. It enables our first responders, our firemen and our paramedic, to have a, a better working environment, a clean working environment as best as we can provide them. And it also helps our citizens too. They, they're guaranteed that when they get into this vehicle, that they know it's been decontaminated to the full extent possible by current technology and that they're not going to catch something that maybe the last patient who just got out of the vehicle may have contracted. We have uh, vents in each compartment and that allows the mist to permeate all parts of this rescue, not just the area where the patient was, but also up into the front where the crews sit 
and also all the compartments where the EMS equipment is. The biggest one's the fire department here in Winter Garden we seem to deal with is uh, TB and MRSA, and we know that we can kill that with uh, the Zymec Grimus system. Infectious diseases will become the worst public health crisis throughout the world. We must immediately start using revolutionary technologies that enable us to prevent infection, rather than trying to remediate it with antibiotics that frankly don't work anymore. That's where Zymec comes in. Zymex engineers created a micromist application that takes an EPA-registered disinfectant and cracks it down into a microparticle bullet, so small that it's never been achieved anywhere before. That's why our system is patented by the United States government, and that's why it's also being used by the United States government. The Department of Homeland Security, the Office of Veteran Affairs, and the Department of Defense have now acknowledged that Zymec is frankly one of the most important tools that we have in fighting infectious diseases. We bought the system to be proactive uh, in terms of sanitizing our buses and now we can do it every single day. It will eliminate every single just micro particle of anything that's in the buses. A new cleaning solution will help safeguard against a bioterror threat. It's supposed to protect first responders and citizens from anthrax. It's important for us all to be thinking, be prepared, and um, you know, we're excited about it. To, to have that in the tool chest, if you will, the ability to deal with that threat should it arise. We hope it never does, but our business is always being prepared for the worst and hope for the best. On April 2nd of this year, the United States Environmental Protection Agency approved a disinfectant that can kill sporing anthrax. That disinfectant can be utilized in the Zymex system, giving us for the first time ever an opportunity as a country to repel bioterror attacks. If we were to mobilize our systems and this extremely high-tech disinfectant throughout the United States, through our fire departments, through our public health agencies, even through our hospitals, we would be in a position where we could remediate anthrax instantly. And in doing so, take that as a weapon away from our enemies. Bioterrorism with regard to anthrax would then be wiped away. That's what's special about Zymec, the flexibility of micronizing a wide array of a broad range disinfectants that can kill literally every type of infectious microbe, bacteria, viruses, and mold. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. My name is Dr. Brad Spellberg. I'm an infectious disease specialist, as you said, at the UCLA School of Medicine and Harbor UCLA Medical Center. I'm also the author of Rising Plague, which is a book about the antibiotic crisis. Antibiotic development is dying. And at the same time, we're witnessing skyrocketing incidences of multidrug-resistant bacterial infections of a variety of types. And these infections hit uh, uh, hospitalized patients, infirm patients, sick patients, the elderly, but they also hit the healthiest and strongest among us. Everyone is at risk. The collective toll of these infections in terms of number of people infected, number killed, and the multi-billions of dollars per year that these infections cost our healthcare systems is absolutely staggering. The time for debate has passed. The time for action is now. Thank you.